Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. You know, there was a book written a few years ago called Your Emotional IQ. And what our emotional IQ is, is how do you handle stress? How do you handle excitement? You know I, know, I know a lot of people that get excited and they go celebrate, then they go eat something, then they wonder why they're overweight. Then I know other people who get depressed and they go eat something, then they wonder why they're overweight. That all has to do with our emotional IQ. Ask yourself, how's your emotional IQ today? It's always said that we are as strong as our worst day. And when we have bad days or what seem to be bad days, they really aren't bad days. They're only bad days because it seems to be the filters we're looking at it through. Remember the quote I always use with Einstein saying that hard is good, easy is bad. We really grow through those tough times, those challenges. Right now I realize a lot of people are out of work, a lot of people are actually homeless or living with relatives because something happened with their home and they're learning what they're really made out of. You know it's really easy when things are going well, we have plenty of money, we live where we want, the bills are all paid, but when we really find out what we're about is when all that stuff is falling down around us. During an average week, I get to talk to probably 60 or 70 people across the country, whether it's in private consultation or consulting with them on various topics that are going on in their lives. And what I'm finding out right now, people are finding out where their weak link is, and a lot of their weak link has to do with their emotional IQ, how they handle stress. Most of the time when we handle stress, one of the things going on is we're looking into the future like it's not going to turn out. And really, if you stop right now today and look at what you have to do or what must be done in order to get things fixed, there's usually something you can do in this moment to start the progress wheel rolling. It's when we look into the future and we see it not working out. That stresses us out and then a funny thing happens with this frontal lobe it loses blood circulation and starts atrophying and shutting down ready to go into fight or flight and then we can't really think of anything creative or a solution to our problem. What I want you to learn how to do is take a nice slow deep easy breath and first of all you might even consider the idea of focusing on something that you know how to do. Something or some time where you had a victory in what seemed to be going to be a defeat. Always look at your victories because that's where your resources are. If you look at where the challenges are and the other things that you failed at, you're never going to find a solution. Einstein also said you're never going to solve a problem with the same intelligence that created it. So what you want to do is study up a little bit, learn some things, learn some techniques, think about how other people might solve that same problem by asking because most problems can be solved. You have to look at it from a perspective of this moment right here, right now, not in the future where you're seeing it not being solved because you're going to get more unsolved solutions. Let's work on our emotional IQ today. Let's understand that if we're going through something that seems to be stressing us out, maybe the only reason it's really stressing us out is the way we're looking at it. We usually do get through these things and always tell yourself today you're smarter, you're brighter, you're more intelligent, more experienced right now than any other time in your life. And you made it this far, probably you're going to make it the distance. So let's work on that today. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary, high emotional IQ kind of day. Bye-bye.